Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on March 29th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Starting out here, looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, as we've had three M-class solar flares, a couple of them pretty strong from the outgoing sunspot region. Also observing bottom left-hand side, large plasma filament that is still dancing around the surface as you can see here left hand side left hand side and cresting imagery that's the last 48 hours incoming no major cmes thwarted our way and these most recent cme or solar flares have not produced cmes at least our way earth directed and that's the last 48 hours outgoing. Having a look here at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events. It's been mostly that region there, M-class solar flares. And as well, elongated coronal hole stretching almost all the way across the sun. Looks like a landing strip on the sun and another one building there in behind it. So definitely going to be keeping an eye on these coronal holes. Looking at another light here, amazing images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide. And if green is your color, we have four sunspot regions right now observing in the outgoing position. Another quick look here at those sunspot regions in motion. Multiple M-class solar flares. Current space weather conditions, we are under R1, minor radio blackout impacts expected. And that is from the most recent activity. Solar winds are coming in at 335 kilometers per second right now, back to a no more normal range. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see here, spiking. One, two, three M-class solar flares. Solar proton flux coming down geomagnetic activity as well coming down sitting at kp1 right now having a look at the space weather prediction center showing the most recent space weather prediction spiral there is a small event heading in for the 31st into april 1st other than that as i said no major cmes have been projected this one here in an outgoing fashion ISWA Space Prediction Spiral. So next space weather event, March 31st into April 1st. Now let's have a look at LASCO 3 chronograph showing the last 48 hours of events. Last few images there. Small CME taking off from the southern region of our sun. Right there. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as things are slightly above average right now. Reporting about 215 earthquakes across the USGS map. Strongest earthquake today being a 5.8 earthquake. Greece, off the coast of Greece, out in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. Not affecting humanity, but a lot of felt reports there. As well, lots of seismicity through the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, 5.2, ranging down to 4.7. And then all across Central America, increasing activity as forewarned here a couple nights ago with daily events worldwide. And it is continuing, especially movement west of the Galapagos Islands, where we've seen multiple eruptions at Fernandina Volcano. Across the U.S., largest earthquake being a 3.4 there, Mexico. Nothing major to report, no major swarms. Quiet through Alaska. Interesting activity through the Marianas Trench last night. As well, a 5.6 earthquake here, Papua New Guinea. Very deep for the region, 576 kilometer depth. And that is the deepest past 24 hours. Just today, we saw another 4.4 Tonga region, 562 kilometer depth.
And that's the last 24 hours for earthquakes here. I'll give you a glance at the last seven days for shakers across the world. Largest last 24 hours, 5.8 Greece. Largest last seven days is a 6.4 Papua New Guinea. Vanuatu region. Much love, everybody, and welcome to the channel. Thank you all so much for the almost 5,000 subscribers in just under a week. Amazing stuff. Keep liking and subscribing, everybody. It's all about staying aware and prepared, and speaking of which, here is our SO2 content brought to you by R45, active and erupting volcanoes around the world, heavy particulates through Mexico region, Guatemala, multiple volcanoes erupting through there and as you can see central america through the galapagos islands big eruption coming through that region overlooking eurasia russia and alaska still tons of so2 spiraling out of kamchatka eastern russia and as well the iceland volcano Overlooking Australia, South Africa, and as well, notable, the Southern Hemisphere, as we still have lots of SO2. I have no idea where this is coming from, by the way. Being reported and forecasted here across the Southern Hemisphere. Overlooking South America, and as well, the tip of Antarctica, South Sandwich Islands region, where the Michael Volcano is. And that has been spewing SO2 and gases for quite some time. So that might be the culprit. But looking at these SO2 contents, we've seen something big erupt. Now let's get to weather here. Brought to you by Windy.com. Big low pressure system heading into the Atlantic provinces of Canada. Winter is still well in effect for parts of eastern Canada and the prairies. Long range forecast next Wednesday into Thursday. We could see some snow through Ontario. Otherwise, will be rain. And then long-range forecast. Watch for some pretty cool temperatures to come. And as well, possibly snow. And it's not looking too good for the big eclipse coming up April 8th. Overlooking Europe and Africa. Large low-pressure system affecting you guys now. And it's just going to grind off the coast there of Ireland for the next few days before it breaks apart. And then turns into multiple low pressure systems. Overlooking Australia. Southeast Asia. No major typhoons or cyclones developing. Forecasted here with Windy.com. But big interesting system scaling down the east coast of Australia. That may be affecting humanity there. And then looking over here, North Pacific, BC and Alaska, still lots of snow in the forecast here for the region. And as well, Northern BC, big high pressure ridge off the coast right now is not letting this moisture come all week long. Before that high pressure scoots away, watch these systems roll in from Alaska. And then California and all along the West Coast, the United States will finally see some moisture again. Overlooking here, temperatures, as we've still got some pretty cool temperatures, especially at night, that are hanging around. And this is set to continue here for the next 7 to 10 days. Overlooking Europe, China can see all across the Tibetan plateau there higher elevations still a lot of cold temperatures hanging around again much love everybody and thank you so much for subscribing to the channel really appreciate that you enjoy the information shared here stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your daily do we'll see you next video bye bye now If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.